Welcome to my first shave in Oshkosh 2019 in Wisconsin and behind me, if you can hear it, is the air show. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Merkur 37 uh, slant bar, which I really love this razor, and along with it I'm going to use the Persona Red blade. This is the third pass I've used on this uh, razor. This combination really goes good together. And uh, this, this razor is uh, probably one of my most favorite razors. On top of that, I'm going to use a pre-shave oil because I don't know what the water is like here. I'm actually in a, a, a trailer and I'm, uh, uh, it's kind of dirty here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make with it. I'm using some pre-shave oil and I'm going to use a, my soap. It's going to be, this is the group soap. It's really inexpensive. It's two, two bars like this, I think, for about two or three bucks. And I love this soap. My sh the lotion for the uh, shape cream I'm going to use today will be, one of my favorites is Arco, which is a Turkish. Merhaba to those that are Turkish, meaning hello. <laughs> okay. And my balm I'm going to use, again, it's Arco Aftershave Balm. And before I put the balm on, I'm going to use... Humphreys Witch Hazel and in here I've got tea tree oil and I usually shake it a little bit and it's really nice. I like this. All H Films Oh this is nice. All H Films gave me these uh, gave me the recipe for that. It has it on one of his videos and I recommend that you uh, go watch Paul H Films. Uh, let's see what else. The brush I'm using today is a bore brush. Uh, boy I forgot. This is a uh, Take a look at it. The bore brush I've used this. It's okay. I like it. I've got other bore brushes too. I'm kind of surprised though that I've only used it a few times and I've cracked. But that's okay. I've got a soaking, and I use these here. These I got from uh, like Costco, uh, like a like a Walmart almost. I bought three of them. So usually what I'll do is I'll uh, get my soap going here. I'll wash my face, and we'll we'll start in a second. So let's wash down. A lot of noise with airplanes, you can hear them in the background. It just happens to be during an air show. <laughs> this soap, by the way, is extremely slippery. You almost don't need a uh, pre-shave oil. The name of my website is Robin Hood Shaving artisans and I just started it and this is the, the very very first shave that I'm going to have on this. We just leave that set for a few minutes. Let's wash the soap off. I probably don't need the oil. I make my own oil too. In one of the videos I'm going to show you the recipe I use. A little helicopter up there flying. I used to fly air shows up here in a gyrocopter, and I just saw a gyrocopter that uh, went around the world, starting out in Ireland. And I talked to the guy and interviewed him a few, uh, a couple hours ago. Now the Arco, I'm gonna put the Arco, take it out of here if I can get it out of here. I will just use it right in here. And we're just gonna do this here. This soap is uh, really inexpensive. Some people don't like the scent of it, but I do. It's like fresh barbershop scent. That's good. The camera I'm using right now is a Bow Pro. Only because it's light. It does a half way decent job. And uh, you're not gonna be able to see the right side of my face over here. I usually do three passes. I got company next to me over here. What's that? Doing a video. Oh, okay. <laughs> from my YouTube channel. Excellent. <laughs> this soap really has a nice uh, slipperiness to it. I think some people think I'm talking to myself. Good. Okay. I'll set that down. What I do now is I take this bowl that I uh, 
scope my brush in and I fill it with hot water. And then I put the other one right inside of it and that keeps the uh, lather warm. So there we go. I'm gonna wet the, I gotta put the razor blade in first. Okay. This is the third use of the Persona Red. And we're going to see how this goes if I cut my throat or not. There we go. We'll tighten it down. I don't like it coming loose. Okay, let's give this the best shot and see what happens. It's a real light touch. Let the razor do the job. Oh, it's nice. sensitive berries are right here. This water must be soft because it really shapes good. Let's go to the other side. I don't know if you can see this or not because the angle of the camera. Hey, when you're camping, you got to do the best you can. Boy, this soap is nice. Oh, my goodness. Here, smell it. Look at that smell. Beautiful. I usually do three or more passes, depending on the razor. I got a little nick there. You know, it's not a matter if, if you're going to nick yourself, it's when. I got another one there. Wow, I'm doing good so far. It's got a little of overhang here, but if you know that, it's still, I don't know if you can see this or not. There's a little overhang right there. Okay. I'm going to rinse my face and we'll give it another second pass. Okay. It really lathers nice. This one will be across the thing. pattern, growth pattern in here and over in here. It's bleeding over the I think that the pit's special. It sounds like it. The pit's was the most built, home built in the world at one point. And second was the uh, Benson General Copter, which I built and used to fly in air shows. Okay. Now for the second pass, let's see if I can not cut myself again. There we go. I don't know why I always pull the ear back here. This side I don't have a problem because both sides of the face are a little bit different. The lighting in here isn't too good, but like I said, you gotta do the best you can with what you have. Right there I got a little scar from some woman that pulled out in front of me about 15, 20 years ago. So I gotta be careful when I shave around that. All right, let's go to this side. This side I don't have to pull the air back for some reason. The skin is different on this side.
somebody has shaved, guys, do you know that shave and have an air show in the background? Probably not too many. All right, one last pass now. Okay. Here we go. Again, this is alcohol. It's a Turkish soap. Relatively inexpensive. I think it's under $10 a package. It'll last for probably a couple months. so neat every time I do it I have to practice four or five times in order to do that thanks Paul okay here we go we're gonna go up let the razor do the work good feel to it begin with and you find and it's just a matter of playing with different razors and different razor blades until you find the one that's good for your face and everybody's face is a little different there's no right or wrong all right i'm gonna do one more pass just because i can it's nice out feels good up down here. All right, let's do this. I'm going to wet the soap a little bit, the brush rather. This will be the last pass, maybe. See how I try to cover the blood up? Chin a little bit. 
feel it. This is fine up here. You should check around the base of the nose and nostrils. I've got one over here area. Over here. Perfect, okay. Now I'm going to do a cold water wash to see if I can close up some of those necks I made. I'm just going to let my face uh, dry a little bit first. And uh, I'll take this back to my tent, but I'll open it up so that it dries. Okay, then I'm going to do the same with the soap, but I'm going to rinse it now. And I'll let this air dry also when I get back to my tent. Okay. Uh, the brush, I, wa I wash that under warm water. And I wash my hands with the soap. Kind of nice. I'll just let my face dry a little bit. I'm not worried about the next. I'll get rid of those. Okay. I can do that here. I can't do that at home. Okay, I'm going to set that over there. Wash my bowls out. I don't know if you can buy these anymore at Costco. I don't know if you're uh, out of the United States. You're probably at one of the retail stores, big retail stores. They have these. I like these. I've been using them for about six months. That's about how long I've been shaving. And you can probably see all the cuts in my face. So we're going to take care of that right now. I got a aseptic pencil. I guess that's the way you pronounce it. Here it is. I'll get that taken care of. Oh my. Okay, let me wet it down a little bit again. Oh, I got a little towel here. I usually use an Allen block, but I don't have it with me. I only live about 130 miles from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And I'll be leaving uh, tonight and then coming back tomorrow. I've been camping out here for, oh gosh, this is my fifth day, I think. And if you've never been here, uh, I suggest, uh, or you have a family, definitely bring them here. They'll, they'll look at them. They're going to love it. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to put the uh, Pump Humphreys Witch Hazel with uh, tea tree oil. Shake it up first. This is wonderful. Just, I love this stuff. Take the hat off. I shaved my head yesterday. So. Oh yeah. Let that dry a bit. Put that there. Oh boy. Okay, and I'm going to take the razor blade out now. And I think that's about it for this blade. I used uh, one of these personas in this particular setup, and I actually got eight shades out of them. And the last one wasn't too much fun, but uh, that's how many shades I, I got out of it. What I do with all my razors is uh, I'll show you. I've got an old toothbrush. I cut the handle off a little bit, and then that's what I use to clean around the connections here. I'll set that down. I'll wipe that off. And the same thing with here on this razor. You never want to forget the back side too. Now. If I were home, I'd take a Q-tips and I run it along here to get all the soap out of here. And my razors always look new every time I use them. So, okay, let's wipe this dry.
All right, let's put the top on. And I usually let this dry too. Okay, and this is a twist on the bottom. Tighten up. Are we looking? Oh yeah, the bleeding has stopped. How about that? Okay. I'm gonna wrap this up so it doesn't look get scratched. I'll put that in my bag. Toothbrush, my cleaning, my oil. That goes in there, and the very, very last thing I'm gonna do is I got Arco aftershave balm cool. This one here. Again, it's not, I think it's like $10 or something. And I'll have a link to all these products at the bottom of my video and also on my website. Oh boy, it feels cool. Wow. Nice. Okay, again, I used uh, Spolvis again one more time. I used Arco uh, aftershave. No, actually, the barber. Soap, Arco soap, I'll get it right. Arco aftershave. And I used a, a bore brush. And my one of my favorite soaps is this uh, root soap. Pretty inexpensive. I know you can, over here you can get it at uh, Woodman's, if I've seen it, but I'm sure you can buy it online. My stainless steel cups. Washcloth. And my R7 ball cap, and I'm getting some new ones made. So there, that's the shave for the day. It wasn't bad. All these have basically healed up nicely. So that's it for now. Stop back again, and I'll have. I'm going to try to do one video every week. I'll be leaving uh, tonight, coming back tomorrow, but I won't be shaving in, until I'm home uh, next week. So uh, thanks for stopping in. If you have any questions, leave them below in the. Uh, the comment section of uh, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.